Hey there, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, if you're not, welcome back. I know it's been a while. I'm not gonna put up some excuse that I've been through some things. I guess the truth is, I've just been busy and been really lazy. So I hope you guys have been good. I'm not really good at intros, so let's just get this thing started. I am not the type of guy who's always been motivated and consistent in the things that I have done. I guess I can say that I am a nomad. A nomad in terms of my hobbies and also in terms of my interests. Not sure if I'm making sense or if I'm even alone when it comes to this. I'm sure there are a lot of other people who um, keep changing interests um, depending on their moods. Because personally, the only constant or the only consistent thing I have with my hobbies um, is the collection or the collecting aspects that goes with them. Be it with shoes, um, toys, technology, photography, and even sports. I just love to collect anything that's either really related to that stuff, remotely related to that stuff, or um, antiquely related to that stuff. I do admit though that this hobby of mine has kind of become a problem. The way I look at it now, it's more of a hoarding issue rather than a collection. Plus, financially, I've been spending a lot more than I could afford, honestly. So, I hope you guys can see where I'm going with this. So, how does this relate to resetting my channel? Well, I need to go back to when I first started this channel or more specifically why I decided to even start. It isn't a super long story yet I've spent hours on two or three drafts to um, simply help me convey my feelings better for this video. Because you see, the main reason this channel was started was so that I could have an excuse to collect the shoes that I like. And like most people who start YouTube, there was a feeling to, um, or an excitement to succeed in this um, platform and become really big, like the ones or the creators that have influenced me all these years. I'm not gonna lie, deep down I had and still have that feeling too. However, I always somehow try to suppress those feelings. Not really sure why, but I was really ashamed of it. I always knew that I needed to be genuine when it comes to the videos that I post and talk about, but honestly, I just couldn't convey that genuinity, um, if that makes any sense to you guys. I thought that the more I talk to the camera, uh, the more comfortable I'll become. I bought everything that I wanted to talk about and in the end hoarding a lot of stuff. I even bought a lot of equipment so that I could technically improve. Well, at least in my mind, I thought that I could improve with all that equipment, but I didn't see any improvements personally. I tried to come up with points um, on the spot and prepare my points beforehand, um, even write scripts, and even directly reading the scripts through a teleprompter, yet I wasn't doing my best, or I just knew deep down that this uh, just wasn't me. Um, I even tried doing one video per week, but I fell off in the end due to a lack of motivation. So then I started to question whether it was time to actually quit. But 
I know deep down there's a small spark in myself that still believes I can make this whole YouTube thing um, work. That's why I'm doing this video because I've decided to reset the whole channel. And no, that doesn't mean I'm deleting my past videos because I understand there are still people who are interested in those videos who still need the info that I've provided um, on the shoes that I reviewed. But I think it's time to change um, a few things for this channel. I don't want to stick to one niche anymore. Um, I don't care about the algorithm if it doesn't pick up my channel or my content. I just want to talk about the things that really interest me and mean a lot to me. And I want to do it my way. So, no more worrying about the algorithm. No more following trends or styles of other um, YouTube creators. Even from this video, I've started to read through a script that I indecisively prepared since I'm not really sure what I want to talk about actually. I just want to go with my own flow and see how things go. Um, in previous drafts of the script, I somehow promised that I'm gonna stop collecting but that didn't really sit well with me so I sat on that draft until I started writing this one because the thing is I can't really promise I'll stop collecting because that just won't be me however I am and have forced myself to get rid of some of the stuff that I've hoarded through the years I'm sure it'll be a really slow process but I really hope that I can start a new flow rather than trying to um, stop the flow or stop the flow completely. Like I said, I won't stick to one niche, but I want this channel to simply exist. Oh shit, I read. I, I actually read that wrong. Like I said, I won't stick to one niche, but I don't want this channel to simply exist as a place for content. I want it to be my personal journal about my thoughts and experiences of the world around me. I also can't promise a consistent posting schedule, but I do hope once things get up and going for me, um, I'll have the motivation to do so. I just want this channel to be an outlet for how I view my world. I don't want to make videos uh, for an excuse to hoard things anymore. I want to share, I want to be creative, and most importantly, I want to improve myself. So, no matter how cringy or awful my videos have been or will be in the future, I just want to, uh, I just want you guys to know that I'm gonna be doing it for myself first and foremost. Do I still want to make it huge as a YouTuber? Well, there's no denying that I just want to do it my way. And if I don't ever make it, at least I have these videos to remind me of my journey in my life. Or the part of my life that these videos are from. That is how motivated I am as of writing this script. I mentioned in the beginning that I'm not really good at intros, so... And... I'm not really good at conclusions, uh, too, as you can see right now. So I'll just leave you guys with a quote that I somehow hold dearly because... This quote might just be another issue that I need to face in the future. And it goes like this. Minimum... Minimum effort for 
maximum results. I'm not sure where I got that from or who even said it. But yeah, that's it. See you guys in the next one. Bye.